Welcome back to the cabin, everyone. Today's a beautiful day, but we're gonna be working inside. Let me show you why we're gonna work inside. We've gotten about a foot of snow outside right now, and I need to get a lot done inside. This place is a mess right now. Look at it, there's hardly any room to walk or anything like that. So today we're gonna do a little cleanup, and the goal is to get the shower functioning. So let's get after it and quit wasting daylight. The first thing I'm going to do today is clean up a little bit around here and rearrange some stuff. I'm going to put you on fast motion and play a little music for you. It's that time of the year, it's 4.30, not even 4.30 yet, and I gotta have a light on, it's getting a little too dark in here. But I got everything cleaned up the way I wanted it. It's looking a lot better. I moved the stove over here, it was sitting right here, and I did that because I got a utility sink that I'm gonna install for, temporarily install it for this area. The washer and dryer is now sitting over here, over here it was sitting over there in the way and i took a bunch of stuff out to the connexes that i just don't need in here all winter long so now time to actually work on the shower the first thing i need to do before i do the walls is i need to 
put a few screws in the shower pan so it can't move. So let's get that done first. Now I'm going to put a dab of silicone caulk on here. I know I don't need to, but I'm going to run a bead of silicone caulk right down through here all the way around. Let's get that done and then I can put the shower walls in. This is all the further I can go on the shower install this year. It's because I don't have running water in the cabin yet, and I'm not gonna have it this winter, unfortunately. I still can't take a shower yet because I don't have any hot water. We're gonna run it to that tomorrow. It's the next day, and we're still working on the shower project. I got the shower pretty much done, as far as it's gonna get done this year anyways. But I still can't take a shower because I don't have any hot water. So to solve that, I need to get my stove here working off of propane. It's set up for natural gas, so we gotta convert it over. So let's get that done so I can warm up some water so I can take a shower. According to the instructions, this is the first step in converting this over to liquid propane. I gotta take this bolt head off and switch a little piece in there that switches it this from natural gas to li liquid propane and this is the gas regulator right here yeah this little gizmo right here This is so bad that they make this in plastic. Okay, that's on there tight. That was pretty easy. Let's move on to the next. According to the instructions, you need a seven millimeter socket and there's a little orifices in each one of these. So I'm gonna, just gonna go one at a time. Okay, how do I get that out? Okay, 
They definitely don't make this easy. Okay, that's snug. Well, I hate to say it, I let you down and I let myself down. At the beginning of this video, I gave myself two days to get this shower project done. And today is the third day, unfortunately. So let's get back after it and try to get this wrapped up today. They put a screw behind this. You gotta forcefully push it over to get this last screw out. This is stupid. There's no reason for a screw right there. I have my store-bought propane hose here. I'm gonna hook it up and I'm gonna use some gas rated thread tape. I just tried to do a test fit without the thread tape on and unfortunately I need to do the reducer on this which I don't have so I'm gonna have to wait till I run to the store. So This is getting put on hold for another day. I can't believe after how many weeks I've been working on this Trying to get this stove hooked up, that way I can take a shower in the cabin. It's going to happen today. I got my hose here. This end goes into the propane tank, and this will screw into the back of the stove. It's all just finger tight at the moment. So now I'm going to take these apart one at a time, put the gas thread tape on it, and tighten it up. And we should be able to take a shower here in a little while with a functioning stove to heat the water. Everything's hooked up. Let's try turning the propane tank on and see if we smell any gas or anything first. Good thing I did that. I forgot to do one fitting here with the thread tape. So let's get that taken care of. I forgot to put thread tape on this fitting and tighten it down. So I'm going to have to unhook it from the tank. Take this apart and put the thread tape on it. So let's get this done. I have it all put back together. Let's turn the propane on and see if we smell any gas. I think we're good. I know I should use some uh, bubble water, like soapy water or something like that. But propane has a very strong, distinct smell, and that first time, the moment I turned it on, I smelled it. Right now, I don't smell anything. I will be monitoring this for the first several uses, but I think we're good. Let's turn the stove on, and let's see if we get a flame at one of the burners. Let's see if the back one works. That's nice. First time in over a year, I'm going to take a shower in the cabin. I'm not actually going to show you me taking a shower, but I will show you what I have to do to take a shower. First, I got to heat up water. While that's heating up, I'm gonna put some water in the bucket.
while we're waiting for the water to boil I'm gonna show you what I actually use for a shower and it's this right here this piece right here is the pump and it gets put down in the bucket of water and then this black line comes out and this is a little battery pack that sits outside of the pump or outside of the bucket I mean and then this piece is the shower head and it has it should have a little oh whoa crap I just turn it on with this little button and water comes out and I get wet and I can take a shower so that's what I'm gonna do tonight the first one since I built this cabin no more spending seven dollars every time down at the local laundromat so I'll catch up with you guys after I'm done it's time Oh uh, yeah, that shower is good. It's not the easiest shower to take or the best one even, but it's it feels good after uh, always having to go to the laundromat. That's gonna wrap up this video. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a good day and don't forget, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing, leave a comment, and don't forget to hit that like button. Thanks everyone.